Yo, so you know when you're just browsing the interweb and you find something really, really dope and you're like, oh, hell yeah, I'm gonna save that for later. And then the next thing you know, you got 20 plus tabs open in just one window. And then the next thing you know, you're like, yo, why the heck is my computer slowing down? It's brand new. Well, yeah, stick around because I'm gonna show you how not to be that guy and how you can save up to $700 on this must-have 2019 5K iMac upgrade so that you can browse and multitask as much as you want. What is poppin' guys? Welcome to today's Tech with Lando where I discuss my experience with today's dopest tech. Now, if you're new, yo, grab the snacks, crack a cold one, hit that subscribe button while you're at it and stay tuned because today I'm gonna tell you how you can save up to $700 just by upgrading the RAM in your 2019 5K iMac yourself. So, yeah, um, that scenario, yeah, yeah, that was totally me. I, I was that guy. Uh, right up until I researched how much RAM cost and then how much Apple tells you it costs. So a little over a month ago, I copped the 2019 5K iMac and I went for the base model i5 with eight gigs of RAM, which retails for 1800, except I got a certified open box excellent from Best Buy for 1500, which was a steal if I do say so myself. And RAM, in case you didn't know, stands for random access memory. And that's what allows you to multitask, i.e. opening multiple programs or tabs in Chrome. Anyway, I figured that was a good starting point since we all know how well Apple computers perform, but seeing as though I keep multiple windows open with a multitude of tabs open in Chrome, I, I knew I was gonna need some more. Eight gigs was not gonna cut it. Now, I'll let you in on a little secret when it comes to buying your next iMac from Apple. Come just, just bring it in, just no, a little bit closer. Don't pay for the extra RAM. Here's why. Now I'm gonna throw this next bit up on a table so you don't get lost in the sauce. So with your purchase of a brand new 2019 5K iMac from apple.com, you're gonna receive eight gigabytes of 2666 megahertz DDR4 RAM in the form of two four gigabyte sticks. And if you don't wanna be that guy like I was, you'll definitely check out the RAM upgrades. Now, the next configuration is 16 gigs of the same DDR4 RAM for an additional $200. And then the next configuration after that is 32 gigs of, you guessed it, the same DDR4 RAM for an additional $600. And if you want 64 gigs from Apple, you're actually gonna have to bump up to the $2,000 3.1 gigahertz i5, and that's gonna cost you an additional $1,000. Just let that sink in. Now, if we head over to maxsales.com, the website of Otherworld Computing, you will find that you can purchase a 16 gigabyte, 2666 megahertz DDR4 RAM kit for only 79.88, saving you $120. Now, you'll notice that the more RAM that you want, the more money that you're gonna save. So 32 gigs from Otherworld Computing saves you $450 and 64 gigs from Otherworld Computing saves you as much as $700. So yeah, from a business standpoint, that is an excellent move. From a consumer standpoint, that's hella messed up, Apple. And before you say it, Apple has instructions on how to upgrade the RAM on their website, so no, this will not void the warranty. So as you can see from all that information, you'd be an absolute fool to pay for anything but the base RAM configuration from apple.com. Use the savings for, I don't know, a new Ikea desk setup, including a Logitech MX Master 3 and maybe a Keychron K2 for your new iMac. In any case, I bought the 16 gigabyte kit, bringing my total to 24 gigs, and I am dying to get these RAM sticks in there, so let's go put them in.
that was my very first hardware upgrade and that was so simple. So what we've learned today is essentially Apple is charging up to $700 for that easy labor, which is absolutely ridiculous. Now, if you guys have upgraded the RAM in your iMac or PC, let me know which brand you went with and how much RAM you went with and by dropping a comment below, I am very curious. So guys, all in all, no matter which iMac model you go with, you are gonna get a very, very nice machine with expansive yet simple software that you can honestly expect to perform for years to come. However, however, if you are a serious heavy duty multitasker, then I would advise that you just go with the base option for RAM, head over to maxsales.com and just upgrade the RAM yourself. Like I said, you can save up to $700 by doing so. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, then obliterate both the like and subscribe button, drop a comment below, and most importantly, most importantly, hit the bell so you can be notified when I upload more videos discussing my experience with today's dopest tech. You might learn something. Alright guys, that's all for now. Stay safe, social distance, peace and love.